my lords, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and episode 28 or 29. Um, I've recorded that many recently in quick succession that I, I've lost track of where we are. I found about 28, 29 anyway. Uh, yes, we're here at JFK Airport. We'll set this up in the previous episode. Uh, between episodes, I've let it run for a short while. Let all the trains get to their associated train stations and the likes. Uh, there's one of our planes just landing now, which is fortuitous timing. And you can see in the middle distance, we have some buses that now run out to JFK Airport. That's to increase the passenger throughput down here. I've also set up a tram system through to JFK as well. In the background we can see Brooklyn and Queens over on the left hand side and over on the right we can see what I presume is New York City or Jersey City or maybe Yonkers. Uh, my, my bearings are a bit off at the moment so yes, nice skyline however. So let's have a look where we are. Doing pretty well financially. 1959 is the year where we currently find ourselves in and things are going pretty well as we can see at JFK we do have our first few passengers starting to arrive here here's the bus line that was set up this goes all around Brooklyn and Queens to maximize its pickup whereas the tram system may, uh, just goes to Queens Holt and JFK airport and nowhere else and yes that's increasing the amount of people we have coming through and there are people availing themselves of the buses and the tram system which is nice to see so if we head over to Baltimore or to Dulles International we should see hopefully a similar situation developing yes we have people waiting at the train station which is nice to see. Nobody waiting at the airport, however. This bus interchange does not yet have any sort of road connection associated with it, so there are no trams coming out here, nor are there any buses coming out here. We may do that today. It shouldn't take too long to do that, so it's always an option for us. However, what I would like to do today... Oh, first of all, as I discussed in the previous episode, I believe that is the correct airport code for Dulles International. It might be IDA, now that I think about it. In fact, let me just quickly verify that on my mobile phone. Dulles Airport. I'm just narrating what I'm doing on my phone here. Uh, Dulles International Airport is IAD, so I got it right the first time. So we're not going to rename the airport itself to IAD. We are going to call this, uh, keep it as Dulles International. But the the flight path will bear the name of the, uh, or will have the, the prefix code or the three-letter international aviation code, whatever it's called, as its title. So JFK to IAD. So the next airport then, because I want to carry on with this, because it was quite a lot of fun doing that. Because there's a, it's more than just plonking down an airport. You have to do your access and your egress, so to speak. Uh, I want to do one for Boston and for Worcester. Now, that would be Logan International Airport, I believe, is the uh, real-world counterpart. So that's what this airport would be called. And in terms of placement and location, I'm thinking perhaps in this area right here would serve us quite well after all we do have our passenger line here although it is all elevated so getting a branch off off a bridge is always a little awkward in fact what i'm going to do ooh, another thing i want to point out to you well i remember the lakeshore trains have been upgraded as well as we can see they were running the is it the M300 railbus? I can't remember the exact name, but they were running the railbuses. Uh, they've now been upgraded to a proper locomotive and a set of carriages, as we can see. Right, while we're here, before we do anything else, I want to sort this out, because 
I want to have a nicer bridge. We only use this one because we only had the, in terms of speed anyway, there was a stone, your basic vanilla bridge, which is quite slow. Or this one, one of the modern bridges, which is a, a little bit faster. Well, it's considerably faster, actually. And I went for speed here, so we had to use the modern girder bridge. And if uh, now that we've advanced through the through the ages a bit, so to speak, we have the vanilla high-speed bridges available as well. So it would make sense for us to uh, make use of those. They look a little bit neater, a bit cleaner. Now, will you give me a bridge over there? Let's see if you will. Not like that, but... Oh, no, that's... No, we don't want to do it like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is what we always do, is we'll draw the bridge itself manually. Uh, yes, as I was saying, we have these more modern, more sleek-looking bridges available. Besides all, that was only single-tracked, so it's probably high time it got double-tracked as well, especially if we're going to be tapping off and heading to Logan International Airport from here. And which way are we headed? Well, we want to maintain the elevation, don't we? Because, as before, we're still crossing over these lines here, and we want to make sure we cross them without any interruption to any passing freight. Likewise, we don't want any passing freight to interrupt our passenger services. So, that's not nice, because it curves. I maybe should have thought about that. So if we go from there, it's still straight at that point, and take it back to, say, there, I think we should be able to do it a lot straighter. Nope, it's still curved. What the heck? We'll just live with it then. Yeah, now we're just going to double track all this. If you remember, we opted for single tracks initially as a cost-saving exercise, but that is no longer a concern for us. We are making money hand over fist, so we may as well double track this now as well. It's going to have the added benefit of increasing the, the traffic flow down here. So we can just quickly chuck in a couple of... Now we'll pause it now that we've finished construction. Yeah, chuck in a couple of extra blocks down here. I mean, like I said, if we are going to have airport services running down here, we want to have as many blocks as possible to avoid traffic jams on our rail lines. So there we go, yes, the bridge curves. It's a bit unfortunate that. I, I might do that again off camera, but uh, for now, for the purposes, purposes, too many S's there, of this episode, that is gonna be fine. Anyway, back to the uh, primary focus of the episode itself, which, as I said, is going to be setting up Bo Bogan. <laughs> Logan International Airport, which is going to serve, obviously, Boston, as it does in reality, but also Worcester. Um, yeah, so let's make a start. So, how, which way do we want to orient this? I think we want to go this way. Now, are we going to have room to get our rail services in there, or are we going to be better off having... No, we don't have enough room to branch off with a, with a station there, so it is going to go up here. And if we set it back, say, there, I think that's going to be fine. What I'm also going to do, something I did around at JFK, is just remove some of the, the woodland from the immediate vicinity around the airport, just to open it up. So when we're looking at it cinematically, he can see a lot more what's going on in the background. Then just do some terrain smoothing around it as well just to flatten it all out as much as we possibly can or at least smooth it out as much as we can and I think that should be perfectly fine and yeah it just opens the scene up so now you can see Boston in the distance there when you're down at ground level can't quite make out Worcester I think that's just the draw distance that's preventing us from seeing Worcester it's not the foliage itself but that's fine okay so let's crack on so, first of all, let's call this Logan International. I mean, I don't think we need to put airport. We know it's an airport. So, yet we have Logan International. We want a rail station down here. And like we did in JFK and Dulles, 
there's no need to have it excessively long. So if we have it, in fact, first of all, let's put a road connection running along the front of the airport. And I'm going to go for a six lane road for this one. So there's our road connection. And if we have our rail station just literally directly opposite, we have a crossing here. If you can just ignore the train station silhouette, we can see there's a crossing point right there. So the, the uh, passengers don't have to walk too far to get to a place where they can cross this road, which is good. Let's do a little bit more smoothing there along the edges of this new road to keep it nice and smooth and pleasing to the eye. We'll just quickly name this as Logan Rail Transfer. And we then want to think about how we're going to achieve a connection. Now what we could do is if we take a spur line off down here from Worcester, we can then run parallel with this, maybe separate off at the point of the bridge, and this will run over here, cross this highway before heading down into the train station. In terms of connecting into Boston, we're going to have to bank sharply, almost 90 degrees over to the right, cross over all of this, and then perhaps link in down here. We might want to be mindful of the amount of traffic on this curved bit of track right here. And in fact, what it might be worthwhile doing is when, we, when we're setting all this up, double track in this bit of access track as well. And yeah, I think we'll probably get that done today while we're here. Anyway, let's start from the direction of Worcester. Uh, we'll go between these signals and this bridge, I think. So we're going to take two sets of tracks off, because obviously we are going to double track the access down to the airport. We know they're running parallel, so the the crossover is going to be as smooth as it possibly can be. And then as we approach the bridge, that's when we want to think about are we going to diverge. So if we go as far as there, and hopefully, because we're going to be at the same height as this bridge, we should automatically get the bridge we want over our freight line just below. Let's have a look. Oh yes. And if we keep the the gradient the same, and again, make sure we go for a nice, modern, sleek looking bridge. Not only is it more aesthetically pleasing, it's also faster speed limit on here as well and where are we right so we, the uh, the decline here is going to be rather steep and pronounced but I think that's okay as long as we have locomotives that have decent power I don't think it's going to cause too many issues yeah that'll be okay so rather than using uh, a chain of rail buses down here we might want to consider maybe a, uh, a cheap electric train, maybe the cheapest one, which I think may be the MILW in terms of its, uh, no, not so much its initial cost, the initial cost isn't a problem, it's the monthly maintenance cost or the yearly maintenance. Anyway, let's get the diamond in position there, and I'll quickly do some signals and I'll uh, bring you back in once these signals have been completed. All right, I've set up a load of blocking signals down here, so that's good and ready to go. Now we need to connect in from this side. In fact, what we might do is first of all have our rail service start running on this line from uh, the station to Worcester. Ah, we're still only dealing with a single platform here at Worcester, so before we do anything else, it's probably a decent idea if we expand the size of Worcester Station. This way we can have a in and out platform for our lake show, because at the minute they are shared. And we can also have a dedicated platform for our shuttle over to the airport as well. 
so we're not going to be clogging our platforms up unnecessarily. Okay then, so if we want to double track this, quickly pause it. So we need to get all this sorted out. Let's just take this back to there. Connect it back in to the outside track like that. Bring you into there. And on the on the exit we want to do something similar. And in fact what we probably want to do is upgrade that bridge as well. So let's take you back a little distance. And we want this guy to go like that. I've used the wrong style bridge, idiot. Let's just upgrade that. Let's try that again. So you are going into there with this bridge. There we go. And then you're coming into there with that bridge. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have, or we're going to set up the platform so on the trains, on the uh, Lakeshore's journey towards Boston, they're on the appropriate track, and then they're on the, the opposite side, if you follow me, when they're heading towards Springfield, I want to say. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was Springfield. Uh, yep, yeah, maybe just one more block in there, yes. What I mean by that is terminals, at the minute, they're both on platform one on both the in and out legs. What we want is you to be on terminal two. Is that right? Let's just have a look, just see what we can see. Amtrak Lakeshore. Right, so I think I've got that the wrong way around then. So I think that wants to be terminal two. That wants to be terminal one. Somebody's still complaining. I, I don't think you need a crossover point. Let me think about why is that not working. There we go. Now we've got it correct. The only problem is you cannot get on to your appropriate track. What we'll do then is very quickly and temporarily put that there. And then you can go about your business without any complaints. So we'll wait for it to leave. Or we could just send it, yeah, if we send it back to Springfield, that will have the same effect, won't it? Because they'll turn around on platform in Springfield, which is fine. Right, there we go. So then we want a platform for the shuttle service. And I might do something a little bit different here. And just have a platform down here like this for the shuttle service so we'll elongate that one so we're gonna have an asymmetrical train station which is fine it does have its own certain charm when they're asymmetrical and this platform will serve our shuttle service okay so let's now bring this in and what we want to do is go parallel for a short while and also have something like this so we're not going to quad track it very far perhaps just after these signals here and between this signal and the next set is where we'll look to rejoin these together but it just means the shuttle service is out of the way at least for part of the journey into the station like that and what we can do as well is on the signals here if we put the signal close it will mean the lakeshore service should receive priority uh, yeah I think that'll work okay I can't see a reason why it wouldn't so back to the line so it's line at number one because we hadn't named it yet line color scheme for this one I'm gonna go black so it's nice and prominent and we want to add Worcester platform number one and it's worked perfectly yep that's all fine you share down there but then you separate off and you head into uh, Logan International 
yep that's A-OK -okay by me let's just quickly name this and this will be Worcester Logan not login Logan shuttle okay let's get the train running on this immediately now as I said I might look at one of the cheaper electrics which is the cheaper in terms of its maintenance so that's 1.9, 2.2 well let's go for the New Haven EP5 then now we don't need to have a lot of carriages on this yes I like the black livery better so passenger carriage you can do 87 so we can use that would waste some of the locomotive speeds maybe if we go for the streamlined New Mexico and if we just say have three carriages I think maybe even just two no we'll go for three because we'll only have to increase it in the future and yeah we get eight seven miles an hour across all of the gradients we'll have two like we have with our other shuttle services and we'll put it on its unable to find path to stop rightio so you come ah yes because again our passengers join in down here right so what we're gonna have to do there what do we have here de Havilland Comet and the cigar brand EMD New York City uh, power unit and uh, engine I think that's what they're called power units 102 miles per hour pretty nice uh, yeah back to what we were saying what we're gonna have to do then is somewhere along here maybe here branch off come over and connect into this so what I mean is something like this and we can have this as slow as we like because it's only ever used to get our trains onto the passenger lines where they're going to be running it's not actually used as a uh, as a line if you if you follow me so we can go as slow as we like it's not a problem and we want you to go in like that how's the overlap it's pretty nice there and what we'll do is just put a couple of one-way signals along here just for blocking purposes now at this point the train should be able to reach its line why not ah because you're on the wrong side of the tracks there that's a problem well again no problem a little short quick uh, crossover will solve that problem let's try again sorry wrong, wrong screen there now everybody's happy right so that could run run in the background I think what we'll also do is set up a flight from Logan International to JFK color scheme for this flight we'll have yellow so it's very different and in terms of the line name it's going to be A for aircraft or aeroplane and it will be Logan International which I do think is just BOS to JFK if it's not BOS I will uh, change it between episodes I'm not gonna check it right now so we need to get an aircraft as well so we'll just use this hangar right here so we're we were using this but we can now have this oh and I've just bought one of them didn't mean to do that but what the heck we've got it now since we have the de Havilland Comet I think it was called the Comet it was definitely the de Havilland I think we'll also just swap these out as well yeah it was the de Havilland Comet there we go okay so now we need to connect into Boston with our airport shuttle line 
So how are we going to manage that? Well, like I said, we're going to come out, cross over all of this, and connect in somewhere down here. And at the same time, look at maybe expanding this to a triple track. In terms of platform, I think all three are being used. Yes, they are. So we're going to need an extra platform for this. We can't squeeze one down here, not without demolishing half of Boston. Which is unfortunate, so we're going to have to go down this side. Which really isn't too much of a problem, but it's just what we have to do. So we'll use this outer platform for our shuttle service. Although it's quite a long platform for a shuttle, but never mind. And we want to connect this in as well. Now I think, yes, here's our express service. So what we need to do is, in fact, we need to get over, we need to get onto this line here, don't we? This is where we're going to be uh, being, look, get your words out. This is where we're going to be heading to, to get to the airport. So how on earth are we going to do that without making a mess of everything? Well, what we could do actually, ah, brainwave little brainwave first of all have you come parallel well, you were parallel but you're not anymore let's just actually pause it and I want to get rid of that and all of this back to there because what we're going to do instead in fact let that train get out of the way as well and then we're going to get rid of these tracks here one move 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 that should be fine because when we delete it now it's just going to push the train further down the track right so let's just undo all of that because we want to double track this anyway don't we so let's just redo all of this access into boston from the direction of worcester right so first of all let's connect in the existing lines or get down towards them at least so you're coming down here are you snapped parallel properly no you're not let's try this again so you're coming down if we can get about 100 miles per hour that's going to be nice now you're parallel properly that's too slow. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, we'll go for 90. And then, yeah, that's, it's a bit slow. But it's okay. Right, get rid of that signal, because that could cause us problems. And get rid of these roads here. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So now what we want to do is now that we're parallel with you, get you to come over like this. Okay, so that's that handle. That's, that's, that's taken care of. You, this platform is now going to be our express service platform. The new, uh, the one we've just constructed. So that's that. We still need a way for any new trains we purchase at the depot to get over here. Ah, but we also need to get this taken care of first. So let's just have you go parallel like that. So what do we have at the moment? We have... I think what we'll do, we'll have express service on the outside. We'll have the stopping service on this platform, which was formerly the express service. The lake shore can remain unchanged, and then our shuttle will go on this outer platform. That's my plan. Okay, so what we need to do then is these two do not need to go towards the express service. They need to snap into these lines here. So bring them out parallel. We will need a diamond for that, but we can do that in a few moments. Ah, okay, we need to maybe go in a little bit sooner because we're quite close to the junction there. 
And if you now go like that, and you go like that, and then we put a diamond in, like that, everybody should be happy. The complaint symbol has gone away. And what we need to do then is make sure everything's on the correct platform. So what we're doing, not you, we don't want Trevor Bennett. Yes, platform number one. That will be, sorry, platform number one, which is this one here, the bottom one as we're looking. That is going to be the express. That's fine. Platform number two is going to be the Amtrak Northeast. Platform number three is a lakeshore, that is unchanged. Platform number four is going to be the shuttle service. So there shouldn't be any complaints for that. What we do need to do is just do a bit of signal work along here after we've just redone all of this access. So there's signals for the express redone. We'll put a signal there and we'll have one there and there for the approach into all of this. That's fine. That's all still got signals on it. But this what's just been double tracked needs more signals or new signals. So we can do that. That's access and this is actually where the, the services are running, isn't it? So let's just stick another signal in there. Okay, yep, that's all looking fine. It keeps our express service away from everything else still, which is good, so there's no interaction and slowdown, or potential for slowdown there. Our shuttle services on our lakeshore are coming down here now, and all we need to do at this point is branch off from here and get over to Logan International, which shouldn't be too much of a difficulty or too much of a challenge. And we'll try and get a decent speed on this. Like that. And we'll just have them run parallel just to make it look nice and tidy for a few meters. And then we need to start from here. We're going to run straight first of all. I didn't mean to click that. Let's try that again. We're going to run straight. Straight and true. That allows us to put in a nice diamond without any trouble. A bit slow, but that's okay. And yep, that's that, and that's that, perfect. And now we need to bank sharply to the right, so we're going to lose speed here, which is why I'm not too concerned if the diamond was a little bit slow. Let's see, are we pointing roughly the correct way? Yes, we are. So again, because we've got this very steep incline on the uh, on the approach or on the on the exit from the station, we want to be mindful as to what locomotives we're going to use for this. And again, we'll probably have a similar sort of setup what we did for Muster. Right, so keep you straight. You're actually climbing a little, but that's okay. And if we maintain this elevation, we should be fine to bridge over the freight line, which we absolutely are. And now it's just a case of connecting in to there. So this should be okay. Should be too many issues. A bit slow on that corner there, but not unreasonably so. So we'll go for that. And then you come down there and we'll go for that signals will go there and then just a series of blocking signals along the way it's not a very long track so this shouldn't take more than a minute or two but we just want to make sure we have plenty of blocks so if we want to have many many trains coming down here we certainly have the scope to do that okay now we can restart everybody is happy what's going off here Oh, they're just waiting for... Pl I guess the uh, the tool factories need some planks, which I hope are on the way. And they are on a separate platform, so that's not going to cause any issues. Do we have planks on the way? Yeah, we do. Oh. 
okay then. So now we can do a line from Boston over to Logan International. Colour scheme for this one, we shall go for that deep purple colour there. However, we want you on platform two to keep you separate from the Worcester transfer train. Perfect. And this will be Boston Logan Shuttle. Excellent. Now we can buy the loco for this. And like I said, I think we'll just repeat what we did with the uh, Worcester shuttle service, which was the New Haven EP5 and three of those carriages. And we'll get two of those. Head over here so we can see the line. And away you go. Everybody's happy. No complaints. So there we go. We now have a another air route set up and another airport set up. We haven't done the the road connection yet but that shouldn't take too long. Now we can, in fact let's do it now it shouldn't be like I said, it's not going to take too long so what we're going to do is you're going to come out into there and you're just going to go straight into there we want a truck station, or a bus station I should say, down at the airport as well. And I think we'll have it back here. In fact what we want to do is just build a plateau for it to sit on. Like that. And we want to set it back a bit because I want to have four platforms here two metros or two, two trams and two bus services. Obviously one to Worcester, one to Boston and likewise for the the trams and the met, uh, trams and the buses. So yeah, four. That's not four. That's just one. All I've done is extend it. There we go. That's better. And connect this in. Bus lane and electric tram lines please bring you in there yep perfect don't need traffic lights we do need to upgrade these roads to include electrified tram lines and the bus lane but that's shouldn't take too long uh, and this will just be we'll call this boston airport and the last thing we'll do today is upgrade the roads into Boston and into Worcester with an electrified tram line like that. We're not going to do the uh, the city streets yet because I'm not entirely sure where we're going to put our exchanges in. I'll have to uh, do that together in a future, perhaps in the next episode in fact. But we can do the uh, the country roads now and then just handle the rest in the next episode when we look set up the bus and the tram links so yep yeah, that's all fine I think the very very last thing we'll do is what the heck let's set up a line from Logan down to Dulles like that colour for this one I say we go with Da, 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 da. let's go with a nice dark green and this is IAD to BOS as I said if that's not the correct three letter code I will change it between episodes but I think it is I did check uh, a couple of hours ago but I have you know forgotten <laughs> anyway De Havilland Comet again we'll just go for two to start with colour them green and put them on that line and there we go now we have three well technically one two uh, I suppose you just call this one city so three and then four five cities connected via airports hopefully we'll start seeing some passengers down here uh, in the not too distant future nobody's taking the trains as of yet in fact were you the Logan train uh, the 
Ah, that's why, because you're, you've not got to Boston yet, so that's why you've got no passengers on you. Why would you? You've not made a journey yet. Have you? No, you're the Lakeshore. Ah, there we go. So we have people heading out to the airport. Might want to put a few extra blocks down here because it's starting to get busy. And in fact, what I might also do is look into whether it's worth having the shuttle service on its own dedicated track and just quad tracking the shuttle service so we keep things flowing a little bit more freely up and down here. You've not brought anyone back yet, that's that's fine. But you're taking our first potential airport passengers over to Logan International. And hopefully they'll soon be on their first flight to, I guess they're going to be going to JFK because we've only just set up the, uh, the one to Dulles. So that shouldn't have had any pull yet. And ladies and gentlemen, as I said, I think that's where we shall leave it for today. Uh, we'll have another flight because flights are always quite nice and quite cinematic so I'm just going to slowly scan down the map until I come across my first aircraft. In fact, maybe we'll go cross country, so to speak, and hop on this and head over to Logan International. And what I might do is have it a little bit cinematic where we can see the aircraft as well as we're flying like like that maybe so we can yeah as if we're on the wing like that so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode and uh, like last time the break from the same old story with trains and trucks and dabbling in the world of aircraft for a couple of episodes it's yeah like the last time it's i, I find it most enjoyable and it often does feel, like I said, like it's a little bit overlooked at times. In fact, I might just move a little bit forward because I'm conscious as to how loud those jet engines are. In fact, let's just perch let's just perch right on the front like that, as normal. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, as I just said. But for now, all that remains for me to say is, as always, ladies and gentlemen, take very good care of yourselves. It's ta-ta for now. Thank you.